In the last two lessons, you've learned all about how to edit your project in UEFN. Now it's time to see how it looks like in Fortnite. Not only can we preview our project in Fortnite through a playtest, we can also edit the project inside of Fortnite, and all of those changes will sync up with the editor. Take a look at the top of the editor where the Launch Session button is. If you click the three dots next to it, you can see the session options Live Edit and Auto Start Game. Live Edit lets you load a Fortnite Creative session and have it be connected to the editor, so you can edit the project as you would in Creative normally and have those changes reflected back. If I raise this prop in the session, I can look back at the editor and see it's updated to keep things in sync. It's important to remember that not everything supports this live editing. In those cases, you'll have to push your changes from the Fortnite client to the editor. Auto Start Game will start the game when you launch a session, instead of putting you directly into edit mode. This is good to enable when you want to play test, but for when you want to just edit, you can disable this. For now, disable Auto Start Game, but leave Live Edit on and launch your session. This will validate your project and connect you to the session in a new Fortnite client. You can run around in the level in edit mode, start the game, and use all of the normal creative functionality. While in a session, you may make some edits in the editor, like adding a new prop and moving things around. In these cases, you'll need to push your changes from the editor to the client by clicking the Push Changes button at the top. Another great feature of these live edit sessions is the ability to invite anyone from your team into the session with you, so you can have multiple people editing the same project. This is a great way to speed up collaboration. Another way to collaborate is through Unreal Revision Control, where someone in your creator team can edit the project and upload their changes. Then you can download the edits to the island yourself. To get out of edit mode, you can either start your game or close the session. Starting your game will disable the live edit feature and let you play test as you would when the project starts normally. Now that you know how to get into a session, we can start looking at some of the cool features of UEFN for level building, like landscaping in the next lesson.